Antiquing is the act of shopping, identifying, negotiating, or bargaining for antiques. Antique furniture is a popular area of antiques because furniture has obvious practical uses as well as collector value. Vintage design refers to an item of another era that holds important and recognizable value. This style can be applied to interior design, decor, and other areas. Many collectors use antique furniture pieces in their homes and care for them with the hope that the value of these items will remain same or appreciate. This is in contrast to buying new furniture, which typically depreciates from the moment of purchase. Vintage design is popular and vintage items have risen in price. Antique furniture includes dining tables, chairs, bureaus, chests, etc. Outlets of vintage design have shifted from thrift store to shabby chic stores. This antique secretary desk functioned very well in this bathroom. The most common antique woods are mahogany, oak, pine, walnut, and rosewood. Usually vintage is the thought of something being old-fashioned. It means a timeless classic that doesn't necessarily go out of style but out of print. Can you mix antiques and vintage? Yes you can. Something that is vintage is much harder to obtain and can also mean exclusivity so only the elite can obtain. Often, individuals get confused between these handmade distressed vintage or modern items and true antiques. Would-be antique collectors who are unaware of the differences may find themselves paying a high amount of money for something that would have little value if resold. There is debate over what determines if an item is vintage. Some rely on the definition of anything old and of value. This room is a reproduction of antiques. Reproduction furniture is furniture made to emulate the designs of the past. Whether it be a writing desk that mimics the same one Charles Dickens used to write Great Expectations or an Art Deco-style armchair, using this style of furniture adds a flair of history to any space. 
It is worth noting that often reproductions do not seek to imitate the signs of age of historic furniture. Reproductions seek to reproduce the furniture's original design. Many modern pieces of furniture use laminate or wood veneer to achieve the same effect. Chinese antique furniture is often made with elm, a wood common to many regions in Asia. Each wood has a distinctive grain and color. The most widely accepted definition used by antique and vintage professionals is anything older than 40 and less than 100 years old. There are a number of different styles of antique furniture, depending on when and where it was made. Some examples of stylistic periods are Arts and Crafts, Georgian, Regency, and Victorian. As most antique collectors and aficionados are aware, Items are typically considered to be antiques if they are aged 100 years or older. In the antique book world, the book's age is very rarely the first priority when choosing a piece for one's library. A book's age is part of its value, but it is only one factor among many that truly determine how much an antique book is worth. Other aspects that must be taken into consideration are the book's rarity. How many copies of it still exist out there, its importance, is it a highly collected and sought after classic or subject matter, and very importantly, the condition of the book. An important part of some antique furniture is its hardware fittings, the style of which varies from one period to another. For example, Victorian-era hardware is different from other period hardware and is perceived to be aesthetically defined, this is the reason for its popularity. Design and fashion trends play an important part in the production of furniture. The integrated design of the article for both aesthetic and functional qualities is also a major part of the process of manufacturing furniture. The designers have made ingenious use of metal, rattan, cane, bamboo, plastic, all materials that are tough yet can be molded into graceful shapes. This natural fiber furniture evokes a sense of the raw wilds in whatever space it's added to, making it a beloved form of patio furniture for decades. Yet, rattan furniture got its start nearly two centuries ago and has gone through its own evolution to become the mainstay of modern design that it is today. I do love those hydrangeas.